Today's Flash Briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. Hi there, I'm Allison Zimmerman with your Friday morning News 5 update. Firefighters are mopping up after an early morning house fire in a North Colorado Springs neighborhood. CSFD tweeted this photo from the scene on Conifer Drive near Woodman and Rangewood. There are no reports of any injuries. The cause of the fire is under investigation. There are still many unanswered questions out of the school year, including what happens when someone gets sick. Children's Hospital Colorado has released a guide to help schools and public health officials manage a potential outbreak, including different scenarios for when to stay home and contact the school. If you have any symptoms, you probably should be out of school uh, and then you can be monitored for a little while. And if those symptoms are on the more severe, more high risk side, you definitely need to get some testing to see if you have COVID-19. If you have more mild symptoms, uh, that can be a discussion with your primary care provider to determine whether or not you need testing or if there might be an alternative explanation for your symptoms. The plan also recommends schools have a designated screening area for students and staff who do have symptoms. Sam? Heat. That's the big story today. We are going to have a lot of it through Southern Colorado. The interstate will warm up into the 90s, about 94 in Colorado Springs, 102 in Pueblo, 93 to 95 as we run down the interstate towards Trinidad, and then yes, triple digits a little farther out east. Over the next seven days, we are going to see not much in the way of heat relief. So the coolest day coming our way is on Monday. There's a cool front coming in. It'll put us in the upper 80s. A small storm chance there. There's actually a cool front tonight. It just won't do much on Saturday. And we stay pretty dry and pretty mild as far as heat goes, like Wednesday and Thursday. Hot, but not aggressively hot. And we see that in Pueblo. Triple digits today and Sunday, and then lots of 90s next week. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.